Okay, hello. Um, this doesn't look right. Yeah, that's a bit better. Hello, my name is Imogen. Today I am embarking on a journey um, which many are not brave enough to embark upon, but I have decided that I'm up for the challenge. I'm going to be attempting to crochet a Harry Styles cardigan, JW Anderson cardigan, for a bear. This is Mort, also known as Peppermint Sloth. He is the builder bear that I got on my 19th birthday. I'm going to build a bear this weekend um, with my co worker and friend Scarlett. And we are hopefully going to be making builder bears that represent Harry. Um, so I'm going to be using Mort only for measurement purposes. Um, <laughs> he's a little funny guy, isn't he? He did have a sound in his thing, but he, he's run out now. Anyway, that's okay. Um, so yeah, Mort is going to uh, act as a model for this project. I did watch a YouTube video of a girl doing this and I'll put her name here. Her build bear was really cute. Yeah, I am gonna be following basically what she did. I'm not a super proficient crocheter, but it doesn't look like it's that hard in the sense that like, it's just lots and lots of little squares um, and then you, you sew all the squares together and then you do the um, front bit with the blue. So yeah, hopefully I have enough wool. Yeah, I'm excited. I'm not gonna do the houndstooth patch. I'm just gonna do black, an all black patch because I don't know how to do houndstooth. And um, yeah, so this is the journey. I'm bringing you with me. This YouTube video may never see the light of day because I might give up on this task. So the very first thing that I need to do is um, get my crochet hook. Uh, this is a four millimeter crochet hook. Mickey tutorials and I already went to the um, fabric store near my house and I got all the colors that I will need. I actually forgot orange so I had to go back and get orange <laughs> which is a little bit annoying and then I was gonna vlog it and then I just forgot but yeah we're just gonna start so yeah. Okay it's so one square done I've got to make 49 more of these so I'll, I'll check in when I'm I've done 49 more? Um, okay, so now I have five little red squares. This is so fun. Okay, 10 little red squares. So now I'm gonna start on the orange, I think. Um, and yeah. Here are my squares. I have 10 yellow squares. I'm gonna start the green and then I'll do the black and then I think I'm gonna sew it all together tomorrow or maybe after dinner if I have enough time. I need to do some reading though. So I don't know what I'm gonna read. Um, probably for another video. Okay, so I have, I've moved to the living room so I can watch Daredevil. <laughs> um, I have my 10 green squares done. So now I just have to do the 10 black squares and then I can sew it together. So I think I'm gonna finish it tonight. Okay, so I finished all the little black squares, which means I've got all the squares done, which is so exciting. Um, and now I just have to position them and then sew them together. I think the hardest part will be sewing the sleeves on, um, cause I don't really know how to do that, but um, I, think it, I think it's gonna be good. So here are all my little squares and then I'm gonna position them and then show you. Okay, so this is the back um, and that is the front. So I don't know if I have enough squares. I'm, I went to what the girl on YouTube said, like the pattern. Um, I don't know if I have enough squares. I feel like I don't, but I'm gonna just sew the back big square together and then sew it to the front and then sew the sleeves separately. Um, I think this is supposed to be like the top of the shoulder. Um, so yeah. So when I was at the shop today, I um, had a list of stuff to get, but I was walking my dog. And so I left her outside and she has separation anxiety. So she started whining. So then I was like, oh, I think I've got everything I need. Um, I forgot to get a needle. <laughs> I don't have a sewing needle, 
that the eyelet is thick enough to put wool through. So anyway, I have sewn something up with a safety pin before, so I'm just doing that again. Um, Cause it's got like that little hole at the end. So I'm sewing it up with a safety pin. <laughs> Okay, so I definitely think I'm doing this wrong, um, but I have my first little not um, like panel, I guess, for the back. Um, I just watched the YouTube video back and she was like, I need, you need four by four for the back panel. And somehow I have six by six. <laughs> I don't know how I've done that. Six by four, I mean. I don't know how I've done it, but I've done it. But that's good because then I don't have to make, I shouldn't have to make any extra ones. Anyway, we'll see. Okay, I have the back part done. Um, yeah. <laughs> so this was the next day. Um, I'm showing you my progress. I have done the back panel and the little side pieces. This was me showing the um, little side pieces again, but now they connect to the front panels before I put the um, sleeves on. And then this was the little back collar thing and this is me sewing them together again i'm sewing with the safety pin classic diy um i personally think for me that sewing the sleeves on was the hardest part because i kept getting confused on where it had to go this is me being very proud of myself and i've started the blue trim on the front of the cardigan um which was very fun and very exciting so yeah i still have heaps of little things to cut off to this point and it was like really taking shape i was so so happy with it um i knew that it was going to be a little bit tight on whichever build of bear i chose but i would definitely matter to me the reason it was a little bit tight was um just because i did the squares a little bit too small i should have probably done them six by six and this is what it looks like on one of my little stuffed toys that i've had since i was a baby okay we're in the car scarlet's driving so i'm not gonna hi, hi. <laughs> um and we're driving to build a bear We've been driving, I just forgot. Um, and it's it's exciting, we're excited. Scarlet has crochet um, car covers. They're just blankets. I bought them oh. from a 90 year old lady on wow. Etsy. They're just blankets. Etsy. Every time anyone asks me where anything is, I'm like, it's Etsy. Okay, we're in Builder Bear. Um, we've done, we can't film because there's children, but we've done um, owl bears. I got two because I'm insane. God, is that not the cutest thing you've ever seen in your life? And this is my little finished bunny. Isn't she so cute? So thank you very much for coming along on this journey with Harry and I. Um, that's the name of the bunny. I love her so much. I'll link that YouTube video that I followed in the description. Um, I'm not like super amazing at crochet. Also, there's so many ends I have to cut off, but like, I think it looks really cute. Look at it. I love it so much. Um, it was nice chatting to you and I'll see you next time.